No matter where Rhonda and I explore, we are always fascinated by how traces of the past seem to be present no matter which state park we visit. As we explore this next upcoming state park, it's impossible not to ponder the lives of those who resided within the structures of the historical Fort Snelling, as well as those who have lived outside of the fort before the arrival of the Europeans. In today's world, it's hard to fathom the difficulty lives that these individuals led. Survival back in those days depended solely on strength and resilience. This video also sheds light on the individuals who once resided in the area during significant periods in American history, such as the expansion of the United States, the Civil War, and sadly, the tragic Indian Wars that resulted in the loss of innocent lives. We'll highlight not only what this park has to offer, but also acknowledge and remember the struggles faced by those who lived during these fierce times of the mid 1800s. Discovering the hidden mysteries of historical Fort Snelling is an exciting adventure that transports you across different eras of time. From its involvement in battles with indigenous tribes to the scenic wonders of Fort Snelling State Park, this historical landmark presents an excess of captivating encounters for both history buffs and nature enthusiasts. Historical Fort Snelling and Fort Snelling State Park is located in Minnesota between Minneapolis and St. Paul. It's a place that holds rich history waiting to be discovered by all. As an avid history enthusiast, I was intrigued to uncover the secrets that lie within the walls of Fort Snelling and outside of the walls. So come along and join us on this amazing adventure as we examine the captivating history of the fort and explore the natural beauty of Fort Snelling State Park. The origins of Fort Snelling can be traced back to the early 19th century when the United States Army established it. The fort played a vital role in the expansion of the American frontier and the fur trade industry. Built strategically at the junction of the Mississippi and the Minnesota River, Fort Snelling served as a military outpost and a center for trade and communications on the edge of the United States. During the Indian Wars, Fort Snelling became a significant player in those times. The conflicts between the indigenous tribes and the settlers led to several battles in the region. The fort's location provided an advantage point for monitoring the movements of the tribes and maintaining control over the area. Fort Snelling State Park encompasses the area around the fort and offers a wide range of attractions for visitors to enjoy. Believe us, the park is a treasure trove of natural beauty, historical landmarks, and recreational activities. One of the must-visit attractions within the park is the restored historical Fort Snelling itself. Stepping inside the fort takes you back in time, allowing you to experience the daily life of soldiers who once lived there. Aside from the fort, there are several other attractions that should not be missed when visiting Fort Snelling State Park. Experiencing the excitement historical Fort Snelling by starting your visit at the Plank Museum and Visitor Center. Here, you can purchase admission tickets, but also explore fascinating displays browse through the museum store and grab a quick bite or beverage to fuel your adventure. Originally constructed in 1904 as a barracks for the U.S. Army, this building underwent a transformation in 1946 when it was converted into an outpatient VA clinic. However, it eventually fell into disuse and remained empty for several decades without any basic amenities. In June of 2020, a significant revitalization effort was initiated as part of the historical Fort Snelling revitalization project. Those are big words. The Fort Snelling Park Museum, the second museum, is a fascinating place to learn more about the historical region. The Thomas C. Savage Visitor Center, situated within the park, just two miles from the main entrance, offers a range of amenities and attraction. Inside this visitor center, you can explore informative displays and browse through a gift shop. Outside the center, guests can enjoy a covered area and picnic tables on one side and an amphitheater on the opposite. This museum showcases artifacts, exhibits, and interactive displays that bring the past to life. 
From the trade era to the struggles of the Dakota people, this museum provided a comprehensive exploration of the area's heritage. The Fort Snelling State Park offers a wide range of activities to suit any interest. Hiking and biking are popular choices, with trails that take you through diverse landscapes including forests, prairies, and riverbanks, giving you an insight of Minnesota's lands. Whether you prefer a leisurely stroll of a adrenaline-pumping bike ride, the trails cater to all skill levels. The Pike Island Loop, a favorite trail among the visitors, take you on a scenic journey along the Mississippi and the Minnesota River. For a longer adventure, the Dakota Trail connects Fort Snelling State Park with Lake Minnetonka spanning over 26 miles of picturesque landscapes. If you prefer water activities, the park provides opportunities for fishing, swimming, and boating in the surrounding rivers and lakes. On the east side of Snelling Lake, there is a spacious, sandy swimming beach. Families can take advantage of this easily accessible beach, which is supervised by a lifeguard from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Fun beach amenities are located on a brick patio close to the swimming spot at Snelling Lake. These amenities, which are open during the season, consist of restrooms, showers, and changing rooms. When planning your visit to Fort Snelling State Park, there are a few tips you need to keep in mind. Make sure to check the park's website for any updates or closures on special events. This will help you plan your trip accordingly and ensure you don't miss out on any attractions. Second, bring comfortable walking shoes and dress appropriately for the weather as you'll be spending a significant amount of time exploring the park on foot. Lastly, and this might be a no-brainer, remember to bring water and snacks to keep yourself hydrated and energized through the day. As I always said in the military, hydrate before you dehydrate. The restored fort, the State Park Museum, and all the outdoor activities at Fort Snelling State Park, they provide a well-rounded exploration of the region's past and present. As we both, as we both bid farewell to Fort Snelling State Park, we can't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the opportunity to uncover the hidden gems and the remarkable history that this place provides. And as always, if you like what you see, just boop that corner button and we'll make sure to update you when our next video comes out. Thanks for watching.